There's a beautiful picture that sometimes circulates online on Facebook or Instagram, uh, stuff like that. And it's a black and white picture of a little girl holding this raggedy doll. And Jesus is down on one knee, uh, extending an empty hand to her, asking for the doll. Uh, and behind his back, he has a beautiful new doll that you can tell is uh, never been played with, that it is in perfect condition. It looks so much better. It's such a much better gift than what she has in her hand currently. And she says something to the effect of, but I, I want this. And Jesus asks to trust. Do you trust me? Um, because he has something better in mind. Today's gospel, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find. God isn't some supernatural vending machine where we just, you know, punch the, the number of what we want and out it comes. No, we have to also trust that what we ask for, God knows is in our best interest. God who knows us better than we know ourselves knows that if we're asking for something that will be for our good, that will be for our spiritual good, that will draw us closer to him, then of course he's going to permit us to have it. But if we are asking for something that God knows in the long run will separate us from him, will separate us from his love, he's not going to grant it to us. The second part of today's gospel, which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asks for a loaf of bread? Even if we asked God for a stone, God would not give us the stone because he knows that that wouldn't sustain us. That wouldn't be something that we could live on. We need that bread that he provides. And this, at the end of this first week of our Lenten journey, we can and should reflect on how we've been doing with our, our prayer, our fasting, and our almsgiving. When we fast, many times, myself included, think, oh, I'm giving up whatever it is for Lent. Uh, but what is my end goal? Why do I give up what I give up for Lent? Is it just to give something up or is it so that I can grow in the love of Jesus Christ? So that every day when I deny myself that small earthly pleasure, I, I fill that hole with the love of Jesus. I make a space for him to come into and to fill, to give me whatever it is that he longs to give me that will satisfy me unto eternal life. I was sharing with my parishioners uh, last week on Thursday, aka the day after Ash Wednesday, that it wasn't even 24 hours into Lent and I had already broken my Lenten resolution because I changed it up this year. Usually I give up social media, but this year I decided to give up watching TV alone, which means I either need to spend more time with my pastor, which is a penance for him, or I have to find something else to do, maybe read a book, just sit in silence when I would be watching TV. And I got home from teaching. I teach at a local Catholic high school. And before I went uh, to my afternoon appointments, I had some time, some downtime for lunch. So I got my lunch, went to my, my little sitting room, opened my laptop, went to Amazon, and watched an episode of uh, I Love Lucy, which is one of my favorite TV shows. Went about my day. When I went to get into my car to go to my afternoon appointments, I was like, I broke Lent. But that doesn't mean Lent is ruined. It means that I need to be more cognizant of the ways in which God is trying to work in my life that I may drown him out every day by my own wants and desires. I didn't think about the fact that I wanted to spend that time with God because of the routine I had gotten into of watching TV by myself. TV isn't necessarily in itself a bad thing, but when it leads me away from God, it needs to be stopped. When I had made a resolution, it needs to stop. Today, we have the chance at the end of this first week of Lent to look back on this first week and see how did we do. If we did great, that's awesome. We ask God for the grace to keep going strong. If we failed, we ask God for the grace to make us stronger knowing that he longs to give us every good gift, that he is the good father who provides his children with the things that they need, the things that we need that will lead us to eternal life with him. He creates a clean heart in us 
And it, that clean heart leads us to salvation.